Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Roblox. So without wasting up any more time, let's get started. Alright, so step number one is your compatibility of Roblox. And for that, I would request you guys to search for a Roblox player on your PC and then click on open file location. Once you are here, once again, go and open file location for the Roblox launcher. And what you need to do is right click and go to show more options or you can simply select properties. Then go to compatibility. Make sure to click on disable full screen optimization as well as click on change high DPI scaling and select this option. Click on OK, apply and you're good to go. Next step is clearing up prefetch and for that you need to press your windows and R key together and search for prefetch in the run panel. Once this opens up, you need to give it administrative permissions and you will find a lot of files over here. You just need to shift delete all of them since these are temporary and you do not want them on your PC. They consume a lot of memory in the background and they also slow your windows performance. I would like to introduce you all to Obvious and Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android and iOS. Obvious and Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Obvious and Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. And you can save up to 17 GB on your smartphone for not downloading Genshin Impact. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obvious and Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Next step is the essential window settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC and once you are here you need to go all the way down to gaming, go to Xbox game bar and make sure to disable it then go to graphics and over here click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options then go back to graphic and over here go to browse and add roblox from the installation directory now i have already added roblox over here so what you need to do is go to options and select high performance add the player beta select high performance launcher select high performance everything you want it on high performance then you need to go back to uh, gaming and then go to game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on now this will help you to disable your apps running in the background allowing you to get better performance whenever you're playing the games next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to search for create a restore point on your pc select your local disk c click on configure and then make sure the turn on system protection is enabled then click on create and name it roblox and simply click on create i recommend you guys not to skip this step because in case of any emergency or you want to turn or revert everything back to normal you can always do so using your restore point next most important step is downloading the roblox fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can simply download and open this thing up and if you're facing any troubles downloading it feel free to join my discord server for a detailed tutorial guide on how to download this now over here you will find four simple folders first one is the cpu priority you need to open it up and you will find two more folders according to your cpu you need to select the priority that you're going to be applying now to find which processor you're using you need to search for system information on your pc open this thing up and look for your processor it is amd for me it could be intel for you also take a note of install physical memory of your pc since you're going to be using it later now i need to run the amd cpu priority but you can run the intel cpu priority if you have the intel cpu now go back to the second folder which is dm optimization and over here i have left a ton of presets you can select between them i am using 32 gb ram so i need to use the 32 gb ram registry it could be different for you so you need to apply it according to your ram i have also left a reset to default registry right over here just in case you want to revert the old settings now open up the third folder which is the roblox priority and over here you need to apply the roblox high priority this will optimize your pc to run roblox on better performance 
Now last one is the windows important tweaks and over here I would recommend you guys to run all of these registry files since all of them disables the unnecessary services and improve your computer performance and that's how you're going to get extra FPS and also don't worry I have also left the revert registries back again so if you want to revert all of those registry you can do it over here. Lastly is the blockstrap.exe this is an application to unlock better performance of your Roblox and how to use it you need to run this as administrator. Now once this app opens up what you need to do fast flags and over here you will find your frame rate limit now it could be automatically set to your monitors refresh rate but i recommend you guys to set it to four nines that is the unlimited fps then for the preferred lighting technology go with voxel one then for the preferred escape menu go with version one then use old textures and enable ability to hide ui just make sure to enable them then for rendering mode go with vulcan if your cpu supports vulcan otherwise you can go with OpenGL since it is using your gpu i highly prefer you guys that if you're using a gpu go with OpenGL but if you have a Vulkan support on your PC then go with Vulkan. Then for anti-aliasing quality go with 1x MSAA and over here preserve rendering quality with display scaling and use alternative graphic quality selector simply enable both of them. Then simply click on install and then it will ask you that before you install just you know have a look at this and click on install. It will install Roblox once again on your PC with all of these installed settings which you are going to be using it. Now this will open up your Roblox straight away and you can play right from here. Now I will show you guys what are the best settings to do. So press your escape key, go to settings and over here for volume, uh, I'll just turn it off for now scroll down for full screen make sure that this is turned on graphics mode manual graphics quality you can reduce your graphics quality all the way to down just because that will give you better performance performance stats you can turn it on but this actually interferes with your gameplay so i recommend you guys to turn it off but that's it once you're done applying that you are really good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button down below since it really helps me out we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out